Ben Johnson, an English poet, said that true happiness is not found in the multitude of friends, but in the worth and choice of them. And Mary Chandler and Stephen were very clear when they asked me to come up and officiate their ceremony that the people that they have invited to their wedding are incredibly dear to them. Um, they are people that have shaped their lives um, from the very beginning until this day and will continue to share. So that was where I wanted to start it was thank you for being here. And I know that Mary Chandler and Steve are very, very happy that each of you are here. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us, and these two people that stand in front of us. We thank you that they have found one another and have chosen to spend the rest of their life together. Let this day be the first step in a long life together, learning to love each other more and more each day. Thank you for the friends and family that have gathered here, that have shaped each of them into the people that they are today. Thank you for the time that we get to gather together and celebrate. We ask all of this in your son's name. Amen. In his letter to the Romans, Paul wrote that love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and practice hospitality. And I think all of us here would agree that there are not more sincere, devoted, patient, and hospitable people on this planet than the two people that are standing in front of us today. I encourage you to continue that with each other and with everybody here. Uh, Jessica and I, Mary Chandler's home has been our second home. We make trips back and forth from Memphis to Blacksburg. Um, visiting family and it, it's never a question Mary Chandler and now Stephen just say so when are you coming in what time are you coming um, it's been wonderful to see that you love each other because of everything the other person is strengths and faults Mary, Mary Chandler said that she knew Stephen was special when they didn't kill each other when they were hanging blinds and putting backsplash up Stephen knew uh, just actually earlier this week the fact that Mary Chandler allowed him to put Christmas decorations up before Thanksgiving. These, these are great things, but you're also, marriage doesn't make the faults go away. You're still going to get mad at each other. You're still going to have struggles. Um, you all gave me this quote uh, that Bob Marley wrote, wrote. He's not perfect. You aren't either. And the two of you are going to drive each other. Per oh, nope. That was the wrong place. <laughs> 
and the, and the two of you will never be perfect. But if he can make you laugh at least once, cause you to think twice, and if he admits to being human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give him the best you can. I encourage both of you to always remember to admit your mistakes and be quick to forgive them. Always meet each other more than halfway and you'll never miss. Last night at the rehearsal dinner, Mary Chandler stood up and spoke to those of us that gathered. Uh, and Stephen shared just how important that was to him, to me today, uh, that she would take that step and make Stephen feel more comfortable. Wedding is, marriage is a compromise, and it is compromises, and it is being there for one another. Uh, these big moments are few and far between. You have a couple of days like this. It's the million of other moments that are going to matter. And I encourage you to remember that. William A. Peterson wrote on marriage that the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. Mary Chandler and Stephen made this easy. Uh, they, they gave me these three quotes, and all of us that have gathered here today know that that is exactly who you are. Marriage is not a legal document. No pastor or priest or justice of peace or friend can create a marriage because a marriage truly is nothing except the promises made and kept by two individuals. Today, Mary Chandler and Stephen is one brief day. And although your vows are spoken in a matter of minutes, they are promises that will last a, life, a lifetime. Are you ready to exchange your vows with each other? All right. Stephen, repeat after me. I, Stephen. I, Stephen. Choose you, Mary Chandler. Choose you, Mary Chandler. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. To live together in marriage. To live together in marriage. I take you. I take you. With all your strengths and faults. With all your strengths and faults. I will help you. I will help you. When you need help. When you need help. And I will turn to you. And I will turn to you. When I need help. When I need help. I will love you. I will love you. Honor you. Honor you. And keep you. And keep you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or poor. For richer or for poor. In sorrow and in joy. In sorrow and in joy. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. Mary Chandler? Yeah. I, Mary Chandler. I, Mary Chandler. Choose you, Stephen. Choose you, Stephen. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. To live together in marriage. To live together in marriage. I take you. I take you. With all your strengths and faults. All of your strengths and faults. I will help you. I will help you. When you need help. When you need help. And I will turn to you. And I will turn to you. When I need help. When I need help. I will love you. I will love you. Comfort you. Comfort you. Honor you. Honor you. And keep you. And keep you. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. For richer or poorer. Richer for poorer. In sorrow and in joy sorrow and enjoy for all the days of my life for all of the days of my life Mary Chandler and Stephen are going to exchange rings as a physical symbol of their unending love and devotion to one another and we have the rings <laughs> it's a little bit far to the to, to the motel Stephen, repeat after me. Mary Chandler. Mary Chandler. Yes. You are the love of my life. You are the love of my life. <laughs> and you are my very, very best friend. And my very best friend. Is <laughs> that <laughs> the right way? Yeah. Okay. You just gotta push it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Chandler, repeat after me. Stephen. Stephen. You are the love of my life. You are the love of my life. You are my very best friend. 
you are my very best friend. By the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Family and friends, it is my privilege to present to you, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Overstreet.